are back on Kababayan today. We have a panel of professionals with us that are helping us understand the signs kung talagang uh, depressed ang isang tao if you need medical intervention. It's very important to know the signs as a family member. Okay, so let's talk about the signs. Uh, Doc, uh, Doc Patricia, I know that you know, you've been in mm -hmm. practice for a long time. When the people come to you, I'm sure it, it takes a while before they yes. say, kailangan mo talagang makita ang doktor. Because talagang it's grabe serious. na. Uh -oh. Serious na. It's serious when they right. come in. Because so you know what they've the... taken a big step. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. You know, uh -oh. Because they've recognized that they need help. Yes. So it's a very mm -hmm. huge step uh -oh. for families. I think the first sign that I always pay attention to are changes in patterns. Mm -hmm. Changes in usual patterns of behavior. So... Um, are you noticing your child withdrawing much more than they used to? Do they no longer, have they, has their appetite changed? Mm -hmm. Are they sleeping much more than they used to? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, teenagers sleep a lot, for example, right? Um, uh, yeah. But if they're even sleeping more than normal, then you wonder what else is going on. Mm -hmm. So changes in patterns are very important to pay attention to. What are they uh, talking about, reading, writing about? Are there um, themes. preoccupations with death? Themes with death. You know, with themes loss. With, mm -hmm. with you know, so you pay attention to things like that. Right. What, what do you might want to add, Sam? I, I also wanted to address this to not just the family members of someone who might be depressed, mm -hmm. but also to people who are actually probably feeling depressed. depressed. Uh -oh. yes. Right? Because uh -oh. sila lang naman yung pwedeng, <clears throat> you know, to, uh -oh. to open up. Uh -oh. So you know. As, as Dr. Yeah. Patricia said, changes in interest. Like yes. you used to enjoy things and you don't enjoy it anymore. Yes. Feeling hopeless, feeling helpless. Yeah. Then you have a problem with concentrating and focusing. Mm -hmm. Sleep disturbances, appetite disturbances. Mm -hmm. Or thoughts of suicide. Uh, Paano suicidality. What are the ways? Right. When, you're, when you're thinking about that, it's time to seek help, mm -hmm. right? Yes. 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 right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You know, the, the, the easiest way that I, my analogy of depression is like, you know, a collaring book, right? Uh -oh. Like, it's full of collar. Uh -oh. And uh, someone who's depressed, imagine it, it's as if the collars are starting to fade away and it just becomes the outline because it's not full of vibrance. Mm. And that's mm -hmm. kind of how it feels. And then for yes. them, it almost like it goes up and down. The colors yes. fade in and out. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's okay. feeling empty. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. um, Pero marami naman akong kakilala na ayaw nila ng kulay. Black and white lang. <laughs> <laughs> lang. <laughs> but good analogy. Yeah, yeah, good yeah, analogy, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Okay, uh, Elizabeth, let's talk about the science. What really made you decide to seek professional help? Um, one of the things that, and I will echo everything you said, one of the things was I actually had a physical reaction because mm -hmm. I was bottling up so much inside and I started hyperventilating. Oh. And I was brought to the doctor because of that physical symptom, yeah. not realizing it was pretty much triggered by a lot of stress mm -hmm. and hence depression. Mm -hmm. So that was like the main thing. So you could be having a headache and you don't realize that you're so stressed out and that could be triggered by something else. But a lot of the things with me, it's like same thing. Like I couldn't get out of bed. I used to be active. I used to be really mm -hmm. focused and driven. All of a sudden, I was not interested of going out. Mm -hmm. I locked myself in my room. I didn't want to eat. Mm -hmm. I yeah. ate Doritos for weeks every day, and that's all I ate. And I mm -hmm. got down to 90 pounds. Wow. Mm -hmm. and Even while you're eating chips? Doritos, <laughs> wow. right? Wow. Chips. Okay, wow. that's okay. chips. Okay. But but lang yung I was, I was yeah. yeah, I didn't want to eat. Okay. And it's just that heavy feeling inside you that there's something wrong you know and I couldn't explain it and so people around me couldn't explain it my family couldn't explain it because I didn't even know what was going on with me mm -hmm. but I knew it wasn't normal and I knew this it was off like it felt off and so a lot of times I was feeling like desperate and frustrated like what is this ano bang problema ano ba to hindi ko figure out and that's when little things here and there you start thinking I am so tired of this. Ano pwede? Ayoko na. Ayoko na. Oh, oh. Yun okay. na lang. And then that's when you get to a point na, you know, you go overboard and you try to do things. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because you need help. Desperate help. Okay. So uh, we just want to reiterate to the people that, you know, this is difficult to discuss, but we need to talk about it, right? Because mm -hmm. if we don't talk about it, it's kind of like that 
elephant in the room, you know? Exactly. Um, and I know, uh, Patricia, you produced a film yeah. uh, a while ago mm -hmm. that you have granted us to, to air on the show, yes. and we have spoken to the people um, that mm -hmm. have allowed us to do that. This film, let's talk about it. What was it called? It was called Silent Sacrifices. It was Voices of the Filipino-American Family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And why we did it in San Diego is because we were so concerned with such high rates of suicidal ideation and attempts by Filipino youth. They had, we had higher numbers than all ethnic groups combined. Mm -hmm. And so we, there was such an outcry from the community. They were so concerned at what was going on and what could we do. We, as professionals, we all felt we had a responsibility to do something. Mm -hmm. So we did, a, this effort was, um, we, what we say is, is it's 24 minutes, it's a dialogue between parents and children. Uh -huh. So we have parents talking about stresses they experience mm -hmm. as immigrants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Raising children who don't, who are not familiar with the culture. Right, you know, the, uh, 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 the, the losses they experience because of that. Right. Then we have children coming in and talking about the pressures they have to excel in school, to do well, uh -huh. and yet um, they don't want to tell their parents because they appreciate all their parents are doing for right. them, so they want to work hard to please them, but at the same time they're feeling so depressed and they don't know what to do about right. it. Okay, so so, so uh, uh, we have an amazing opportunity to show that on this show. Uh, so please uh, tell everybody you know we will be showing this film uh, here on Kababayan today next week. Abangan niyo po yan. Yes. Okay, All right. So when we return, uh, pag-uusapan pa rin po natin ito and how we can help our Kababayans. We'll be right back.